Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Rad Kutarot and uh, in this whole video uh, you are going to see the um, weekly tarot readings August 3rd to August 9th 2020 in terms of career and in terms of relationship uh, and uh, with that being said, a few notes about the show before uh, you see the reading itself you can skip forward if you want to but um, you also, if you do like the way I read, you can participate for uh, my tarot classes uh, in there I'm going to explain you uh, how to read tarot cards in generally uh, with the spread that I'm using in this very video and uh, the first, the beginner's tarot class is now available uh, recorded which means that you can take it on your own pace and in there you're going to find 12 hours of content, explanation I I'd like to think a profound explanation of the major arcana and how to use them in terms of career, in terms of relationship or in terms of a looking for career or looking for a relationship and as well how they stand in the spread itself and at the end as well you're going to have a few examples how to read just only with the major arcana that being said the you're going to be pretty set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings uh, when you finish the course and uh, yeah if you do want as well personal reading uh, you can go to my website uh, which is listed here into the description uh, of this video and uh, there pretty much on the very front page you're gonna find a full list of my services and as well their pricing the course can be purchased from uh, the same website going into the tarot classes section so that being said lay back and uh, enjoy the show all right so uh, let's have a look what Taurus are gonna go through uh, this upcoming week and uh, the first thing that uh, we're gonna look at it is the love and relationship uh, week the Taurus are gonna have so let me uh, shuffle the cards and see what you got guys So uh, the first one that we do have for you that is going to be the Three of Cups. Moving next, uh, we do have the Six of Swords, uh, followed by the Five of Pentacles. And uh, the last one we do have that is going to be the Three of Pentacles. Now, that's a pretty strong um, type of a week that you're going to have in terms of relationship, should you be in the current one. Uh, now, if you are single as well, uh, it's a big, how can I say, it's a big breakthrough also. But the thing is that uh, it will be more, um, what do you say, what, what the word is, um, not valid, but life-saving, if, uh, if you will, for those that are currently within a relationship. So what those cards really point to, once again, let's show the cards. So we do have the Three of uh, Cups with the, six of Pent uh, with the Six of Swords. Then it is the Five of Pentacles. And after that, we do have the Three of Pentacles. So the immediate attention that it is brought from the reading, that is within the Five of Pentacles. But the situation, but the, uh, not the situation, but the position that the Five, five of Pentacles stands at it kind of shows the positive traits of the card itself and that speaks for finding the strength to overcome the plights all right or rather like understanding that the plights you do have within your relationship regardless of how many they are they're actually rather trifles okay and should you show more is the word compassion probably the word is compassion should you show more compassion and understanding it's very possible as a matter of fact that is going to be the only possible way moving forward you and the person that you are with to see the things in the same way now doing so that will sh obviously uh, you both are going to accumulate a similar vision with one another and as um, collecting similar or rather like forming similar vision uh, you will be able to overcome those plights and those difficulties now that will happen further into the future Donald this week itself it is the week it is the week where you are to if you will lay down the, lay down the foundation or identify the 
how do I say it? Identify the possibility that these things can actually be overcome. Not, uh, needless to say that this is a marriage saver here or a relationship savior and so on and so forth. Now the problem that may reside here it is within the six of uh, within the six of swords, and uh, it shows uh, the imagination, if you will, the imagination that things are. Um, far beyond the point of fixing or repairing. Now, that's not the case here, okay? If you think that you do need a, a mighty or a, a colossal effort to, uh, to overcome the differences and the disagreements, that's actually not true. All that it takes here is to sit down on the table of the negotiations and talk about uh, the, uh, the issues that you do have, listen to what your person of interest or partner issues they have with you and with the relationship itself and you're going to be uh, surprised you know how easy the answer is going to come um, uh, is going to come about and as soon as you identify you know that answer and that plight that problem uh, and you start working on it the results are going to be rather immediate not the ultimate results where the things is resolved but it's going to start resolving itself almost immediately very important throughout the week guys is to aim to spend as much time as possible with the person you love all right that that is within the tree of cups no excuses whatsoever excuses that you have to spend extra time at work or that you do have very important business and that's why you can't give the time your partner needs uh, these things are only going to deteriorate your situation now those that are single uh, for what the cards show um, is about an interest that they may have uh, but as they have that interest that interest will have interest in them as well however with those cards there will be something sitting in between all right like a, like a barrier if you will and the first impression is going to be that this barrier is something that it is uh, not possible to be overwhelmed by you or it's going to be an overwhelming and compelling uh, a barrier, which is not the case. That is just the uh, the initial thrill that you do have and the adrenaline rush telling you that it will be way too good to be true. And that's not the case here. So it will be very important to aim a, a cooperation. You got to start from the very, very beginning, like befriending the person you know and, uh, and going from there. And honesty, very important here. Honesty is the key of moving forward. So that was about your relationship. Now let's have a look what you are to have in terms of a career. Right, so the first card is going to be the Chariot moving. Next, we do have the Two of Cups, followed by the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, and the last one that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. Now, this, this is pretty straightforward here for you, uh, Taurus. Now, career-wise, uh, this week you will have to toil alone. Um, uh, that is, uh, I didn't even have to draw the last couple of cards just to be able to tell you that. Uh, and to be able to tell you that the week is going to be very successful. And I don't know how to say it in English. We do have a parable in our country. But when you ask for help and the help doesn't come, you do pretty much you... Well, I, I can't express it. I'm sorry. But the thing is that you can do things... The best results can come, can come only from yourself and therefore nobody can help you with whatever, uh, with whatever tasks you are to face throughout the week. Now that's in case you're working. Now, if you are jobless, okay, those cards here are pointing that if you are to find an opportunity throughout this week, which you should be able to because we do have the Ace of Pentacles, that is because you found it and not because somebody pretty much placed you there or petitioned for you, all right? 
and that is just for those that are uh, that are a jobless and one more thing it is that the whole environment in the new job that you are to find the pe that find the people and so on and so forth they're not gonna like you at the start but that is changeable moving forward in the future however those that are working uh, they're gonna have a um, again compelling and overwhelming force against them or rather like quite so they a big task to overcome because the chariot always stands as triumph against the odds but once you do make the triumph here uh, you are to experience the luck of your hardship you know wish fulfillment as well which pretty much points to a prerequisite that you may ask for a raise promotion and so on and so forth but the best thing about the chariot sitting on the very first position of this pride it is that you are to be recognized for your unique skills all right kind of like getting the appreciation and the necessary not the necessary but the um the well-deserved respect if you will for what you are capable to push forward in term of uh, in term of a career uh, it's very likely you know after the whole thing resolves here which may take few weeks okay that week it is just the week where you make the the, the hard push but as soon as that thing revolves uh, it's highly likely that you may be assigned as a leading force into a new project or into a new task now Whatever is happening to you throughout the week in terms of career by the uh, Ace of Pentacles appears to be um, a very successful uh, business effort and as well it appears to be a, an opportunity, in fact I could say a rare opportunity to further your growth and, uh, and, and go as well in terms of your career. It's just at the end of how it's going to um, end at the end of the week, it is that, um, how can I describe it? So say you do uh, have planned your performance, you have planned, you know what you're gonna do and so on and so forth. And moving forward, you're gonna see uh, by the end of the week that there are gaps, things that you haven't really thought thoroughly through and things that you have not anticipated at all, not necessarily bad things, all right? So you're gonna see a uh, gaps in your plan that you can fit a additional activities or additional performance and uh, that is highly advisable for you to do so by the end of the week you should be rather very very adaptable when it comes to how you should proceed with the next week moving forward so that being said guys uh these was these were your tarot readings uh for the upcoming week hopefully you do enjoy them and uh, you do like them and uh, you know we may see each other around until then bye